Welcome guys and girls to our little program here. Uh, this is Loda Gaming bringing you a new program we've got called Hit Check. Uh, we're going to be doing the newest uh, previews of games, we're going to be doing reviews of games, we're going to be playing a little bit of everything, try to just get information out to you guys, you know, stuff you want to check out, new games you've never heard of. Uh, I don't know, we're just pulling down what we find and trying to get it out to you. Uh, I'm Tom here, and I bring my ever-popular comrade-in-arms, Mordred. Hello. And we're basically going to pick a game once a week and just throw it at you. This is what we got, and this is what we think about it, and run down a few key points. Uh, I'm just going to kind of dive into the action this time. You guys can kind of get used to this. But uh, going into it first, we're going to take a look at a game called Vindictus. It was released on Steam just a couple days ago. It's an MMORPG with a action RPG element. It kind of plays like a Dynasty Warriors or maybe a Diablo-esque. Uh, truth be told, it'd be closer to uh, Dynasty Warriors, a simple fighter. Yeah. Uh, you have your choice of five characters. One of them is not available in North America as of this posting. Uh, it is based on an old, uh, I say old, a Korean game from about two years ago called Ma Binhagi. I'm gonna butcher that. Ma, Ma, bleh, Ma Binhagi. The words in the description, folks. Yes, take a look down below. Uh, heroes, it is basically that brought to North America as Vindictus. That in North America launched about. Uh, almost two years ago, October of 2010, and this is Steam's version or relaunching of it. So, fun, fast-paced action RPG MMO with quests and stats and all that good stuff. What we're going to do is break down uh, each individual element of the game, starting with its graphics, what we thought about, how pretty it looks. Uh, my, From my perspective... Uh, from an MMO perspective, or for, from Korean MMOs, I think is a better uh, place to look at it. The graphics are pretty good. Uh, it took me a few tries to get fraps up and running to capture some footage, because it was actually pretty taxing on my video card. Yeah, same here. Yeah, uh, I mean, how, what did you think, More? How did you feel about the graphics? I really enjoyed the graphics. I thought they are one of the high points of the game. I thought it just... I thought it was really close to like a triple A titles type graphics. I really, really was impressed with them. Okay. I think the animations were really slick and really smooth. When you're attacking, it really feels like you're you're doing it, you're, especially with your big bruiser guy, it feels like he's just swinging a giant log. The, yeah. <laughs> and my caster, the spell animations left a bit to be desired. I'll be completely honest with you. Okay, okay. And I, the enemy graphics were meh. But the, actually the in town, the water, I... I I judge graphics very highly off of great water effects because for some reason that really appeals to me and seems like that is a hundred times harder than anything else to render properly. I noticed, I, I remember WoW had a similar update about a year or two ago where they just updated their water effects and games like, uh, what am I thinking of? Uh, there was an action RPG game on the PS2 that just amazing water effects that stuck out. <laughs> when I say stuck out, I can't think of the title, but... Um, but you remember the graphics. I remember the graphics. You don't remember graphics. anything else. Yep. You just remember the cool graphics. I am so ashamed. <laughs> but yeah, I, I have to agree. The water effects are amazing. The static elements of the game are great. Yes. Uh, the individual uh, individual pieces of a character, the way you can die and change your clothes at a whim, pretty much, makes it look beautiful. I think that, and I don't want to get in too many other points, but I think looking at some of the dungeons and the enemies coming at you, they were very blah. It was a, okay, here's another creature, rar. 
Eh, it, it left a lot to the imagination. It left a lot out there. But I think from looking at the towns, it felt very, very high def, very beautiful graphics. And I, I definitely give it a thumbs up for that. Yep, the the character models and the avatars were all fantastic. And the character customization was really good. I It had a good amount of options, not the best I've seen, but you could you could do quite a few different things and the hair effects and such were really good. Okay, okay. And good and good boob physics. <laughs> boob physics are important for all of two women you can roll. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hey, that that's that's four physics we need to be paying attention to. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving away from graphics, we're going to cover some of the audio and just how does that game sound? Does it bring you into the game? Do you hear something you like? And it, it, some games do this very well, some very poorly. I felt this game was very blah. It's nothing stuck out on the audio front. Uh, the combat sounds were there. Meh. Uh, I they have were more nothing. annoying than anything. Yeah, this is a game you could easily just turn off the audio, play some Spotify, or hop on Skype with a friend. Just, I don't know. I didn't feel, it was very, they could have done a lot better. Uh, what do you think? I muted the music. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I muted it. I didn't I was like, okay, this is just annoying. Okay, then. And then the combat sound effects. There's, I mean, is it really that hard to record three different hoo-ahs instead of repeating the same one for the same bass moves over and over again? I guess it is. Yeah, the sound, <laughs> the sound just left a lot to be desired. Yeah, me. okay. I, I definitely, yeah, I agree. You know, some games just can't hit all of them. Yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah. But moving on, uh, we're looking at some of the gameplay elements, the combat, the... What what does this game add? How is it fun? Why would I play this game? And for me, the gameplay that I thought was actually quite enjoyable, uh, and some of you will disagree on this, but I rolled the big beefy brawler, and his name is totally slipping my mind, but he feels very much like a Dynasty Warriors-esque uh, combo system with left and right clicks. You have a bunch of elements where you can stop and actually fight a boss or counter a boss. Uh, some of the larger ones, I, I have to admit, did not they frustrated me and did not make much sense. Uh, but overall, the the gameplay was fast and furious and it was quite mindless I would not consider this to be a thrilling long term uh, game I, I think it does kind of limit its potential as an MMORPG but from a, a short term or if you want to just play it casually I think it's a blast to just take a couple hours and go around and hack and slash um, how about you what, what did you feel yeah that and I think that goes really well into the play style of it being a more typical, or at least some aspects of it being a typical Korean grinder. True. Where if you want to go mindless for a while, I mean, this really strikes me as the, well, frankly, the get half drunk, sit here, put on some rock and roll, mute the terrible music, and then just mindlessly kill things over and over again in an incredibly spectacular, fun-feeling way. The, I played the caster through most of our playtesting of this uh, game. Yeah, heavy. Yeah. And the fireball it had really short range. Everything she did was like really close range for what I, I would think of as a caster. Yeah. But it was spectacular when you did hit. I mean, you'd launch a fireball and bodies go flying everywhere. It was really kind of satisfying. I I personally don't like the Dynasty Warrior games. Okay. I really don't enjoy that just random combo system. Which is probably why I ended up enjoying 
Evie in this game is because she had a completely different mechanic than I have seen in any of the Dynasty Warrior games, where you had to hold down right click and then use WASD to select spells out of a radial dial that shows up on your HUD. Mm, okay. So it actually had a bit of an interactive feel to it as opposed to random button mashing, which I think it is what really just turns me off to the Dynasty Warrior games. Sure. It's, uh, Dynasty Warriors 2 is, uh, is a very mindless uh, hack and slash for the most part. Even looking at uh, its newest iterations, it's still just go onto the field and kill. And that's what these gameplay elements felt like grab a quest, go out there, grind, 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 grind. It just You put it just perfectly, it's a Korean grinder. And if you're coming into this expecting to get like a Skyrim story, you're going to be sorely mistaken, or Skyrim gameplay. I would also like to point out that when we were doing the dungeons, we cranked it up to the highest possible difficulty and did not come close to getting anywhere near dying, except for from fall damage when we jumped off a cliff one time. Yeah, for the most part, uh, this kind of moves into the, the dungeons uh, category itself, but yeah, it uh, we only, you can set the group composition for a dungeon between one and four people, and you have three difficulty settings. Normal, hard, and like an elite or even harder mode. Ludicrous that speed. <laughs> Go! Uh, that only unlocks when you get to a certain level. I believe it was 50. We definitely did not get to 50. We yeah. made a good progress, but the we were going in groups of two, and it gets harder, much like Diablo does, when you enter a dungeon, and say you've got four people in your party, it's going to be harder. It's got to challenge you. I don't think it scales correctly. I felt it was way too easy. We had it on hard. We had crappy gear going into it, and we just stomped face in these dungeons. Hard. No. I mean, we stomped face hard. Yeah, it was... You know, we At points, we were leapfrogging each other, and just, you kill this group, and I'll go get the next one, and we'll clear it faster. And this, uh, this was only two people. Imagine what a group of four would have done. Oh my god. <laughs> It'd have been like, oh, clear dungeon? Under five minutes, go. And it was really easy to out-level all of the quests. Out-level? I'm not sure we had to do the quests. I'm, I'm almost convinced that we could have just gone to the dungeon. and That's quite possibly true. And honestly, just leveled up that way. Green uh, grinder, you know. Yeah, what yeah. you gonna do? Again, you know, killing in the dungeons was fun. They sent monster after monster after you and breaking stuff all over the place, smashing up walls and, and barrels and all sorts of... That was great. I love breaking stuff in games. Yeah. But <laughs> does it does it make me want to go back and do it again? No, eventually you hit that point and you're just, eh, okay, I've smashed everything there is to smash. New game. Yep. So as far as the dungeons go, maybe at a higher level or maybe when you enter rating, they do become more difficult. We did only play this to about level 15 and we went through the first set of dungeons, which was like 1 to 10. Eh, I'm not very impressed. No, they, it, they, it seems like they could have done a lot more, even with the relatively simple engine they had in place. Definitely, uh, I think they could have done a lot more, and I actually wish that uh, on the screen we had about nine or ten dungeon selections, and they were all basically the same thing with different level enemies in it. Yeah, it's. Just I would have just... Kind of a bummer. They could have made it simpler and say, this is your dungeon for the area. One dungeon, I'd have been fine if the enemy scaled with you. Up to a point. You know, you get up to level 10, they stop there, and you're supposed to move to the next tier, and the next tier has better loot, and so on and so forth. This game does not do that. It does not challenge you in any way. So, I was very disappointed with the dungeons. But... 
moving on. Uh, also, the... another aspect of dungeons that's really important to most MMO players. Yeah. There's no loot. Yeah. You kill a boss, you don't get a cool item. When I kill a boss that's bookending a chapter, I want a cool weapon. Just saying. When you play any other dungeon grinder, you get loot from bosses. It may be terrible, but it's there, you know. Butcher's Cleaver from the old Diablo. Uh, you know, that it yeah. it was it was a relatively okay weapon. But at least you got something. Right. I definitely agree. Um, anything else you wanted to add or No, that's that's okay. it. That's a good point. Uh, so, moving on to some of the storyline elements of the game. Uh, personally, I felt the story was extremely lacking. It starts off amazing. You, you're painted this wonderful picture of this spider attacking a, what looks like to be a cathedral or a, a, a building with a, a bell at the top. And just a wonderful high-resolution action shot. You rush in with this... Uh, girl to try to calm the spider down to prevent it from going crazy and attacking the town and everybody in it and it's just this wonderful split between cutscenes and action scenes you're running through it and then the game just drops right off yeah <laughs> uh, i was like all right this is gonna be an amazing story you know this uh, i knew it was uh, going into it it's an mmo i understand you take your quest you go out and do them fine but it's a fast-paced action rpg i was expecting a lot more from the story and i felt it was not there it was take this quest hack this many people come back and get reward yeah it seemed like it was going to start off in an almost D, &D style because from a lot of the D, D games i've played it had that kind of oh you're just a random soldier put into an interesting situation here you go oh look you somehow get through this situation and recognition of everybody around you. Hey, now you're cool. Now you're a hero. Now you start the game. Right. And it's kind of like, oh, yeah, look what you did there. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Yep. What, do you want a cookie? <laughs> I don't want my NPCs to tell me that. I... I think maybe one or two NPCs mention, hey, you, you're you the one that stopped and slayed that spider. Can you go get me some fish? Yeah. <laughs> what? That, that's the quest lines in a nutshell, isn't it? That is a quest line. Uh, Basically yeah. the fishing one. The... Uh, huh? Don't look at me, I didn't write it. Okay, I've you've had what tw 15 years of MMOs, and that has been the common complaint: is some of these quests make no sense, and you still do it. Don't don't put in quests. Just if you're gonna do that, put in a basic storyline and let people grind. If that's what you want it to be. Don't bother hiring writers. Yeah, I would like to see a game just do. Okay, look, you're a mercenary. Here's a job board. These are jobs that people need done. Don't ask questions. Just go bring them the heads. They'll pay you. I know. It, it's what I loved about, um, let's see, Free Spacer and going back a ways, the space game Terminus. You take a quest, you do it. You just go slaughter someone or send some trade goods somewhere. The end. Okay. It's not meant to be this epic story. They don't claim it to be. <laughs> This game is like, oh, look at this beautiful story we're presenting. Oh, by the way, we shit on it after the first chapter. Okay. <laughs> why even... I don't know why you open like that. So, yeah, story, no. Maybe Freaking there's more dead. later, but in the first five hours of gameplay, that's what you get, folks. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that that's really about it. Is there anything you can <laughs> add to the story? There's... I'm I'm amazed you managed to find that much to talk about on the storyline. <laughs> you impress me, sir. That's okay, because you'll you'll like the next point even better. We've got to go into the crafting system. Wait, are we talking about the same game? <laughs> Th 
This game has a crafting system. Bullshit. <laughs> this game has a system that calls itself crafting. <laughs> I think. Okay. Is, you know, and I call myself a supermodel. That may is, <laughs> that that totally makes it true, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> sure. That's how the internet works. Yeah, we'll go with that. This does not have a crafting system. They can call it a crafting system if they want to. It is a series of item turn-ins that you have to go and grind the dungeons for where you get items. Yeah. And they still charge you an obscene amount of gold for it. Yeah. Pretty much, it is... Here's a recipe. Go get me the items, which, by the way, all of the items drop in the dungeon or can be bought from the store. Do they drop in the dungeon often? No. You have to grind for it, like everything else. Which mm -hmm. is fine. I can deal with grinding. I can deal yeah. with a lack of a mining skill. I'm yeah, I'm not I'm not saying anything bad about that. Yeah. Now bring these items to me, and here's your reward. But the reward costs you gold. A, a lot of gold. A lot of money. What but am I making this then or are you making it and it's basically a store that you buy items from, but you buy items with both money and other items. I would like to point out that we did prove toward the end of this, when we were trying to craft our first set mm -hmm. of items, that we figured out the amount of time it would take to grind for said items. One, we were out-leveling the dungeon and probably getting pretty close to out-leveling the gear. Yeah. That we could have gone to a higher dungeon, just made the gold, and just bought the items off the auction house. Yeah. And it would have... We would have made money that way. Yeah. Easily. That's... We could have sold the mats, bought the items, and probably came out about even. <laughs> Why... <sighs> that is the gear not a looks cool, system. though. It does look cool. Make it, you know, they do have a lot of customizing options. If I if I can give this game credit for that, you can die and change the colors. But even they screw they screw up the dying system. All it had to be was you have a die, pick a color, put die on there, done. What did they do? Click on die. Oh, here's a random color. Uh, that. I actually checked into that. That is for when you're spending in-game gold. If you want to get the exact color you want, guess what topic that leads us into? The store? The store. Okay. So, to, to end crafting, going into the store, um, crafting is absolutely abysmal. It buy the stuff on the auction house if you want to make something go nuts I wouldn't I don't think crafting's even gonna matter until you max out your character Meh. yeah well I don't know it doesn't seem like there's any other way to get loot in the game since there's no drops all right so maybe at max level that's all you can do is craft but I sure wouldn't use it leveling up so moving on to our last topic and this is pretty specific to any free-to-play game. If you've played LOL or if you've played, uh, like... DDO. DDO, Loda, or Loda. Lord of the Rings Online. Uh, way, to, way to Freudian plug. If you play Loda a lot, ha, ha And by play, I mean watch and watch a lot. Also, send us money, please. Yay! <laughs> um, or Cuppy Cakes. Anyway, if you've played a lot of free-to-play games, you know that most of these try to capitalize on an in-game store that takes your hard-earned money from real life and turns it into a virtual good of some kind. Be it an XP boost, money in-game, or an item, or what have you. This game... You know, I'll actually just let you lead. You looked at the store a lot more than I did. Oh, the... The store is way too expensive in this game. Okay. You can you can get your typical items. Thankfully, it doesn't have any buying power stuff. 
it has the you know, XP boosts, uh, your skill point boosts, um, dies, weird random little this or that that I didn't even know what they did and they did not give a description of, which really doesn't doesn't make me like the cash shop anymore okay. because if I don't know what you're trying to ask me for my hard-earned money for, I'm probably not going to buy it. Right. The one thing I specifically checked just for reference is additional bag slots. Okay. For your inventory. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was approximately $10 a slot. $10 U.S. currency. Yeah. For for one bag that held, what, 20 items? It held a decent amount of items. I'd say 24, maybe 26. But, good God, not $10 worth. I mean, I have to work almost an hour to pay for a bag? Let's see. It really? held four, five, six, seven, seven times six, forty-two items in one okay, bag. Okay, so that is a pretty big bag. It's a pretty big bag, and when you do the quests in the game, you get three bags as you level up. That's it. There is no vault. There is nowhere else to store your stuff, and you can't even mail anything without paying. A, what I consider a lot of in-game goal to just send items to people. At one point in time during this game, I tried to mail 30 potions to Tomalek. It would have cost approximately 4,000 gold to get it to him yep. ASAP. Now keep in because mind... Because you can't oh, trade. You, yes, you can't trade. There is no... You can't just hand it to someone. <laughs> really? Just... I, yes, you need money sinks and games, fine, but... The mailbox shouldn't be your money sink. <laughs> right. The mailbox? The die, the random die thing, that's a money sink. Yeah. But this game really needs money sinks because you can't buy loot either. You can't buy equipment. Your money sinks are the auction house? Well, that's not really a sink. That's redistribution of wealth. <laughs> yeah. That truly is, yes. Uh let's see. So these bags cost ten bucks. You can get six yeah, six added on to your character. You can pay sixty dollars and your one character, keep in mind this is just that one character will be full of bags. What the hell? You know what? After paying sixty dollars for that many bags, I I'm gonna edit myself here. <laughs> I better get something really special if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. For sixty bucks, yeah, you uh, you ought to get. It better happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I, I can't justify spending money in a game like this. It is... I could justify it if it gave me more than a passing uh, urge to just, you know... It, it's fun to hop in, do some killing, leave. But it, I don't feel like supporting a game like this. I don't want to commit. Yeah. I wouldn't be sad if it closed down. I could go back to playing Dynasty Warriors and be the same experience. And pay less for full bag space. <laughs> I wouldn't have to worry about bag space in that game. <sighs> but, yeah, I, I think overall, uh, kind of the ending points here, I, uh, from my perspective, I think the game is a pretty game. It's a great hack and slash. The servers seem to have a great uptime, very low latency. Stuff works. Yeah. If you want to play something and you want to hop in and have fun, it works through Steam. You can 
can get it and it's free to play. You pay nothing. You just download it. I think it's about four or five gigs. And you go. And then Only. you you were right in and killing just it's a blast it only took like 30 minutes to download too yeah definitely just really don't expect more than what we're saying here don't expect this grand epic story there are quests some of them are interesting but don't expect what you see on the intro don't read this game by its cover right wow it was a good way to kill a, a, um, an evening. That, yeah. that was what it was. I'd probably play it again. You know, I'd load it up, screw around with it. Sometimes I just want to grind. Yeah. And this seems sympathize. really good for just hop in and grind. Sure. You want to just kill some time, you need to relax, you know, de-stress after a day of work, hop in, kill some things. You're not paying anything for the game. Who cares? But that's it. (laughs) Yeah. There was next to no social activity. There was tons of spam. I mean, 14 bucks should buy you a hundred million golden game if you wanted it. I know. I have three hours of that footage. I'm not sure what you're going to spend that gold on. Buying out the entire auction house, I suppose. (laughs) Uh, But very grindy dungeons. Very pretty dungeons. Lots of things to break. I do recommend you play through it once. Just hammer out your frustrations. Go kill some stuff. It, It is fun. But it's not the next WoW. It's not It's not oh, even God. the next Star Wars Galaxies, okay? Did yeah. you go there? I went there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, any final lasting words from you? Any words of wisdom from you, Mr. Wise Guru? It's fun. Check it out. Uh... Don't build up any expectations. Just screw around. You know, it's... If it was an arcade game, I'd pump a couple quarters in it. Okay. And that's about it. Kind of dates you a little bit now. Yeah, well, you know what. (laughs) Hey, Gauntlet Legends was awesome. Yes. But... There you guys have it. Uh, that's how we feel. Definitely a play it once, check out the pretty graphics, murder some stuff. I'm going to say, oof, is it a hit or miss? I'm. I, that's a tough one. <laughs> I'm going to call it a go hit. With, oh, in, sorry. In, yeah. I was going to say, and I think I'm going to go with a miss because really it's okay. It's worth checking out if you're into that. But really there's... There's better things that I would probably rather spend my time on playing. But it's okay. And see, I could sink some time into this and kill and be happy. With n- I wouldn't expect anything else. I'm going to say it's a hit. I'm just wishing for a lot more. So, there you guys have it. Uh, this would conclude our wonderful little trip through Vindictus. Uh, definitely check it out if you're on Steam, or don't, <laughs> depending on who you're listening to. Uh, check it out, and if you want to know more, uh, I'll put their website in the comments below. It sh- it's rotating through Steam's top listy thingy as of when we're recording this I'll definitely put a link right to it so there you have it it's been fun this has been Hit Check I'm Tom with me as always is Mordred now I shall be the host and I've been forced choked through the interwebs uh, it's been fun, guys. I Check it out. If you want to know more, check out the website below. Or feel free to just get a hold of us and 
I don't know what I'll do. But you can contact <laughs> us. <laughs> but till next time, this is Tom. Moore's here over there, and we're signing out. Take care. Shalom.